Hello photographers, today I wanted to quickly go over Lightroom's spot healing tool. This is a very powerful tool, but it also has some limitations. So I've got this image here, and first of all, to open the spot healing tool, you need to be in the develop module with your image, and then you just click this little icon right here for the spot healer. You can also hit the Q key, which you can see with this tool tip that flies out here. With this open, it's actually a very simple tool. There are just a few options. You have your brush size, and this literally dictates how big your brush is, and then the feather of the brush. And the feather dictates how soft the edge of that brush is. So as you see on the screen here, we have this inner ring. That is the solid core of the brush. And then between the inner ring and the outer ring is the amount of feathering that's going to happen in the spot. And you can change that to be very heavily feathered or not feathered at all, depending upon what you want to do. Generally speaking, having some feathering is good, depending upon what you're trying to fix. And then we have opacity. Now, opacity dictates how see-through the spot actually is. And the easiest way to demonstrate that is to actually show you. So I'm going to make this brush smaller. And by the way, there are keyboard shortcuts for these brush sizes too. You can use the left and the right bracket keys to increase the size of the brush itself. And if you hold down the shift key and then use the left and the right bracket keys, you can change the feathering with the keyboard shortcuts. So I'm going to make this brush smaller. And for the demonstration, I'm going to have zero feathering on the brush. And I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to click right in the middle of the glass. Now when I do this, it actually grabs a spot over here that it thinks will match well and blend in well with the spot that I'm trying to fix. But for this demonstration, I don't want that. I want a different spot. And when you use the spot healing tool, you can actually grab the spot that it is sourcing from and move it around. So I'm gonna drag it out here, outside of the glass. Now before we talk about the opacity, let's talk about the mode of the tool. You have your clone mode and you have your heal mode. The clone mode works by taking whatever is in the source spot that you might have chosen or that Lightroom chose and pasting it directly over the spot that you were trying to fix. So right now we're in heal mode. I'm going to switch to clone mode and you'll see what I'm talking about. In clone mode, this white spot from over here is directly pasted over the wine glass here. Now that doesn't look very good at all. So now when I switch to heal, you'll see that it maintains the red color, but all of the texture and detail in the glass is gone because these pixels from this area, which have no texture or detail, were blended in with the rest of the pixels around them. Now, which one of these options is right to use actually depends upon what you're trying to fix and the results that you're getting. Now, back to the opacity. I'm going to switch back to clone because it's going to make it easier to see. And right now, these pixels have been directly pasted over these pixels, blocking them entirely. But if I start to change the opacity, what you're going to notice is that those pixels are going to get more and more see-through to a point where you can actually start to see the wine showing through the pixels that have pasted over there. So when you're using this tool, you'll sometimes find that you're trying to fix the spots, but it doesn't look quite that good. Oftentimes, just adjusting the opacity will be enough to make that spot blend in better and heal the spot you're looking for in a way that fits in with the rest of the image. Now, I'm going to delete that spot. The last thing I want to tell you about is the Visualize Spot tool, which you can see down here in the corner. Visualize Spots switches the image into this very aggressive black and white image, which makes it very easy to see the spots in your image that you might want to fix. So you can see all of this stuff in the background here, all of these different spots along the glass that I might want to fix. And there's a slider that goes along with this. And you can make this more or less aggressive depending on the image you're working with and what you're trying to keep and what you're trying to heal. So this is really, really helpful when you're trying to fix things and you can't easily see the spots you're trying to fix in the image itself. So this tool is incredibly helpful for cleaning up spots, blemishes, and other things in your photos, but it has a limitation. And the limitation of that tool is that every single spot that you add on an image when you're healing things is adding to the stuff that Lightroom has to store in memory when you call up your image. And the more spots that you add, the slower your computer is going to run when you're accessing and referring to this particular image. So 
this is a tool you can certainly use and should use to clean up and work on and fix up your images. But if you have an image that has lots and lots of spots that need to be fixed up, and this is a good image as an example, this is an image that you instead might want to take into a program like Photoshop or something else and use those tools for healing it because otherwise it's just a bit too much for your computer and for Lightroom to handle. So that's the spot tool and how it works and how you can use to clean up your images. And if you have any questions about this, Lightroom, or photography in general, let me know down in the comments. And then do me a favor, would you like this video and subscribe to my channel? If you really like this video, please share it with your friends. But the most important thing you need to do is get out there, take some damn photos. I'll see you tomorrow on the live show. I just spent like an hour trying to figure out a problem that I was having. It was driving me nuts. Thanks for watching this video. Now, if you're just learning about Lightroom or you're trying to take your editing skills to the next level, I highly recommend you visit this link right here to check out my Lightroom video course. In this course, I'll take you through Lightroom step by step to show you what all of the different tools in Lightroom do and how to apply them to your image. And I don't just show you how to use Lightroom, but how to take Lightroom and bend it to your will so that your photos look the way you want them to look when you're done. The bottom line is that Lightroom is a tool and you need to know how to use it to add it to your arsenal of photography tools. So if you want to learn how to use it, check out this link right here.